Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, thank you so much just for your patience. I was feeling a little bit under the weather the past couple of days um, and also preparing baby girl's first birthday party. I will be recording a video about that and the amazing time <laughs> we had. Um, it was great, but there was, there was a lot that was going on. So I'll save that for a story time. Um, that will definitely be the next video. So if you see me wearing the same thing again, don't come for me. God is still working on me, okay? <laughs> you don't want any of these problems. Um, so I'm just going to continue on with the truth series. I'm going to put part three and part four together. Um, so we're going to call this the finale. And it talks about um, letting go and just believing in yourself, pretty much. So, you know, what I talked about in the last two videos, in Mind Over Matter, and um, um, comparison is just dealing with how I felt about myself, you know, dealing with um, depression and anxiety and just societal pressures that, um, that there are to be the perfect mom, to be the perfect wife, to be the perfect human being, just to be perfect. And, um, and going through those things throughout the past couple of months of 2018 and just finally realizing that I am enough. You know, God loves me so much that he sent his only son to die on the cross for me to give me salvation. If if somebody can can love me enough to die for me, I need to be able to love myself that much. You know, to just be like, you know what? I'm I am bomb. I am bomb.com. I am fabulous. I slay all day, every day, even if I have baby drool all over my clothes and I have like food stains on my sock. I am a wonderful human being. And that's all that matters is, you know, what I think of myself um, and loving myself so I'm able to love others. I'm able to love my husband better. I'm able to love my child better. If you see me keep looking back, it's because she's just doing what she's doing okay <laughs> um, and also realizing that depression and anxiety will never win with me I'm declaring that I have I've been declaring that that it will not win because it has taken over my life for too long and I'm just putting my foot down like no this cannot continue on it's going to be difficult yes am I in a sense um, fully healed from it not necessarily, um, but I am in the process of just working on myself more and allowing myself to feel so it's not all bottled up inside where I where I just explode. So on top of that, I do, you know, affirmations. You know, I tell myself, you know, today is going to be a good day. I'm going to have joy. I'm going to have peace. I'm going to have love. I'm going to have understanding. And I say that every morning right after praying and reading my Bible um, to kind of set the tone for the day. Um, so that's just what letting go is, is letting go of just that, letting go of just that, what's the word I'm looking for? Just that pressure that, you know, I've put on myself, like, it's okay. You're normal. The only person that'll ever be perfect is God. Is it, you know, I strive to be, you know, like him and in his image, but I'll never be perfect. And that's okay. I'm perfect in my own way. You know, I I have my flaws, but it's my flaws to accept and to work on. I can't sit there and complain about something that I'm not actively trying to change. And, you know, I, and I wanted to give, you know, those who of you who are watching just some quick tips here and there about um, what you can do to to get better, or at least to start on your journey to get better. Um, you know, first thing that I've wrote, written down is pray or, or meditate. Um, if it wasn't for prayer, I don't know where I would be. And that's that's not only in regards to motherhood, that's in regards into my whole entire life in general. I don't know where I would be, I'd be lost. And it doesn't have to necessarily be a long prayer. Like, it could just be, Lord, I need you, amen. And he hears you. That's it's it's as short as that because he knows your heart. So make your life easier and just pray to him what's really on your heart. 
another thing <coughs> excuse me another thing that i wrote down is exercising and uh i do you know squats a little bit you know here and there um i do um jumping jacks lunges you know um here and here and there I haven't i'm slowly starting to get into it like full time but just just that and recently i've started to do stretching every morning because like i co-sleep with her so and she's heavy she's t a toddler now <laughs> so i make sure i do stretches you know deep breaths in and out to kind of get myself centered to get started with our day um another thing that i wrote down is express creativity in any way so the way i express my creativity is doing youtube so um that's just something that you guys could do or start a blog i had a blog but i transitioned into doing youtube um making music writing poetry writing in general um drawing anything any create creativity creative thing oh lord i can't speak today any creative thing that you love do it express that another thing is reading books hi baby girl <laughs> <laughs> Just getting into stuff, y'all. <laughs> uh huh. What what tips do you have for them? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. She's giving y'all tips too. <laughs> um, another tip that I have is read read a book. I absolutely love reading. Um, still trying to get into it because it's I don't want to just be so focused on the book that I can't pay attention to what she's doing because she's on the move y'all she's not walking just yet but she's slowly getting there so i need to have that focus on her so i'm going into um looking on books like online like on ibooks because it's just easier when she's napping you know when we're napping together i can just read the book on my phone kind of thing another tip is to go out now i am not a cold person at all I was born in August in Miami Florida so this weather right now in New York and up in upstate not with it though I lived in Canada for what about 10 years or so in Ottawa not a fan of the cold I only go out if if I have to that includes church doctor's appointments for either myself or a little one other than that I stay home <laughs> Um, but going out definitely does help, you know, so you get cabin fever. I had that bad the past couple, the first couple of months. Oh my gosh, like it was so bad. I'm like, I'm going crazy. I felt like I was trapped in my own home. Like it was so, so bad. So go out if you can. And um, another thing I wrote down is ask for help. Now, that's just me calling the kettle black because I'm terrible for <laughs> um, I'm terrible for that asking for help but I've learned that it's okay you know to ask I can't be super mom superhuman all the time is I'm I can't pour from an empty cup so especially when my husband comes home I'm like here take take your daughter I'm going to lay down and do nothing and scroll on social media yeah. for five hours <laughs> not five hours but um, long enough pretty much <laughs> And the last thing that I wrote down is to remember it's a journey, not a destination. Everybody is just on this um, this journey, this, this kick to just fixing themselves. Um, you want boob? You want booby? <laughs> Everyone's on the journey to fixing themselves and like looking just for a quick fix and that that doesn't happen. You have to be patient. You have to, um, hold on. Ugh. Ugh. Mommy duties. <laughs> Here. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be patient. You gotta, you know, realize that it's going to take time. It's, not everything is going to be fixed tomorrow. So I have to, you know, keep in my mind like it's a process and it's okay that it's a process there's nothing wrong with that so yeah that's all that i got y'all and i just want to thank each and every one of you guys for the constant support um i checked my subscribers 
missed my subscriber count and I got 100 subscribers. So that was my goal for January. So I thank you so much for that. I reached one of my January goals. So that's reaching 100 subscribers. So yeah, insert praise break. <laughs> She'll get at me like, Mom, you crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm going to continue feeding this big old chunkster and I will see you guys next video. I love you. God loves you.